Here is a current plant update on June 27, 2024, with this plant being the best looking one in the yard. Look at how nicely formed that is. This one here might have had some damage, but it is coming back. These ones are really crazy, but this one came back the best this year. Full plant. Look at that plant. And it looks like the weeds love this soil too, so maybe the soil is getting something amazing. Now, this one's nice too, but if, in real life, this one looks so ball shaped it's so amazing but this one i like the color and it's amazing too but that one sits perfectly right there i just oh that one's amazing too and that one will come in just take longer so let's start in the front yard this time if we look over here we got a massive rainstorm and i'm talking massive i mean blizzarding rain and extreme rain and extreme thunderstorms so we got our probably biggest rainstorm of the year so let's share the plants after the rainstorm first one this is another spirea just like the one we looked at and they they grow really weird um the middles don't fill in right away but they, like the one back there that i showed you that one that looks so nice was just lucky and there's the yard trees over there we'll be showing those soon but this here um it's gonna just kind of these are the bigger spireas we have um it's gonna fill in the middle so they kind of look really not the greatest the whole month of june and then july they really fill in and by august they're they're looking amazing um, but the middles there are filling in as you can see just so crowded in there um here's the plants so they're looking they're coming in this one here um it actually looks to be doing okay better than that one and that one was doing better before these we prune them back and they die so i'm not touching those anymore they might be able to make a moderate recovery, but this one here, when I went to prune it, it was out of control. The whole middle died. But the ends might grow, which is enough to make it. If they stay green like that, they're good to stay. Like this one right now is doing actually really good, but the whole front was dead, so I just removed it. This here, um, it's getting overwhelmed by some grass, and you can't pull those. They just kind of root, root in, but the plants will take them and grass is over soon. Um, and here's another spirea plant. You can see it's coming in very vigorously from this end over here. With some of the stems, look at the length of the, look at how thick that stem is right there. Amazing. Um, and the middles on these are not filled in yet, but they surprisingly will. And the outer branches will take over that. So I, these are just the weirdest plants. And if, if we need to do something to help that, I, I mean, let me know. Maybe we got to cut them all the way back and just see let them come back up. I don't know. I don't think you do on those, but at least with, of this size. Maybe like the smaller ones, but of this size, I don't think I could cut that back anyway. It's just way too much. This one's coming in too. It looks great from the front. They all look great from the front, as you can see. But coming in close right now is when you see that middle. But the middle's filling in, and it will fill in. You can see there all the limbs coming out and all of them popping out down there. It just has a hard time getting through all that mess, I think. But that's the front bushes. Now, my project over here is this used to be a bush. This crap that's shooting up all over, and it was real nice. My goal is, um, these front ones are kind of close, and they're getting damaged, So and so were those. But I wanted to save, I want to get that one to go and be big. That would be amazing, a nice bush in the middle of these two trees. Ooh, that's where it originally was. Then that was cut down back in 2015. And then some shot up here, and there was a bush close to here, which I'm going to let both those go. Um, because of that one got cut down, that one came. And it was too close to this tree, but we're going to let that one go. That one's actually looking better right now, so I might just pick that one. But that one's the ideal if it gets big and nice right in the middle of the two trees. That's what that'll look like. Because this used to be a big bush, and it will become one. But that's why this fence is here, and it's all secured, the fence, with landscape things and landscape staples in the two ends so it doesn't fall down. Um, so you can see the difference. The outside ones are all destroyed. And the inside ones aren't because the dogs can't get in there. So... Those are starting to protrude through, but the, the main ones are protected. So I think we'll leave that gate up for a couple of years, probably maybe a while. So the bushes can kind of become there. And the two trees are still doing good. They are producing a bunch of the cones there. Um, here where the two trees were, there's nothing there anymore, just some rocks and stuff. Here we have a, what are these called? Sedum. 
a sedum, and this juniper. It's really coming back. Look at the color on that. It looks like a bonsai type thing. Um, so it's pretty nice. One second, guys. Okay, we've got him in. So this here, because them guys are barking like crazy. This here is a juniper and it is extremely coming back. It was like, severely died, almost all the way back to the ground, the whole bush died. And only a little survived and that's what we cut and, and made there. So, Make sure all these guys are here. And this is, this is another sedum. Um, looks really nice, really coming in. I'm excited to see, I hope it flowers. It should flower this year. And I think you gotta cut those back all the time. So that should flower really nice. But I got distracted though. These guys go crazy and I don't want to bark and bite the neighbors. So I'm just kind of watching. But this, yeah, this bush, um, I'm really hoping we can get, really get that growing back there. But it's looking nice so far. So it might be making a recovery. As you can see here, it's got lots of new growth on the plant there. Here is some junipers. I'm gonna let these grow a little more this year than I did last year. They're looking quite nice. That one's looking pretty nice. You're the only problem, bud. You're the only one that barks. They're being cold out there and just watching around. But you're the only one that barks. So you're gonna be restrained while I'm making a video, okay? All right. Anyway, um, yeah, here it looks like the dog's been broke a branch in there and that gives you the death part of the plant, but it kind of just looks natural. Um, and then we got the daylilies, which I don't notice any bloom stalks on those yet. Um, but those will be coming up. This one gets pretty damaged. The dogs are always jumping around the fountain area and just kind of damaging them things up. These, some of these are looking not as great, which is why I'm going to let them fill in and grow this year. Um, I think that'll really help them out. So they're cutting the back again. But they're all popping out some new growth. And the daily leaves are looking nice. So this is a nice planter. And with the fountain in the middle there. And the fountain's actually working a little better this year. Due to how it's... Um, kind of the dirt seals the bottom there. Sure, find the friend. He's over there staring. Yeah, you're locked up there, bud, for now. Okay? Well, I'm busy. But this sedum here is smaller. It's it got less light. When this bush was big, no light could get through it. Um, so that's why it's kind of nice to have it pruned anyway. It was just so big. It was killing that plant. And the hose was always running over it. So this year, I'll be more careful. And it's really got a lot to show when it gets the right conditions. You see, that one's much bigger, though. But it's really nice. It's, it's just really nice. I mean, that middle bush is coming back in. And it really helps it look nice. Um, that bush, I love it right now. It's looking amazing with the dark, wet stems. So let's just hope it can go. Because it got a little winter damage again. Um, but it looks like it overcame that. I really hope this bush can make it through. It really had some damage in that cold 50 below winter. It was real windy and dry winds and it really damaged that plant. And it's been kind of dying every winter since, but it comes back in the summer. It's just kind of weird. Here are the, um, all these are all um, spireas. I get those two sedums and spireas confused. These are all spireas. Um, this one is the gold play. And these are, they're all the same, but um, this one, some of them are different. I don't know. They did something weird with these plants when we got them. They just gave us whatever plants I had. But this one this year is the best. And this one will come back. It probably had a little root damage from all the um, crap we were doing with the sprinkler heads in there. Now, if we look over here. Make sure that boss is still over there. Yeah. If we look over here. Here is a mule pine. This pine, um, just the dwarf version, it, but it gets big. 
these things were up to here. I got I had to take them down. See, I had to cut some stems, which you're not supposed to do. But I want to let them grow a little bit more. Uh, have a natural look. This, I'll get to that in a second. But these are coming in nice. The green is going to cover over that other green from the far cut back. That's why I don't cut them back too far. They kind of look yellowy. Now, this is a potentilla, and it's fine. I don't know if it's a little stressed or a little not as healthy. They're old. These are old plants. These are like 30-year-old plants. So they're kind of getting into their area there. But this one's looking nice. I just cut these back. And this one's looking the best. And we just got a big rainstorm. That's why everything's drew. This one's looking amazing. Look at all the growth. I'm not going to cut them back as far this year. Maybe that'll help them out. Leave them a little longer. So we'll just see what grows this year. And if it grows this year, we'll be good. This one usually fires way up through the month of July. Don't know why. Everything's just getting ready in June. And then by July, everything's putting on that growth. That extreme growth. These here are pretty drooped right now. But they are looking really nice. Um, so these plants here will be um, up to about here. They'll be up to about here. About that high. Up to about that change on the window you see there. Is how tall those will be. And most of that growth is put on in July. The whole month in August. Like early August. But then by late August everything's hardening off. Hardening off. Um, but then if we look at these. Yeah these two potent are doing real good. And the ivory halo dogwoods by the fountain are doing really good. But they do have a couple. Um, like gall galls or something on the limbs. So I'll have to watch those. And if they do get bad. I will just cut these plants back to the ground. And let them come up fresh. The limbs are getting a little crazy I think. This. This one, I'm really going to let it grow again. Not like it was, but just a little more. Um, you can see it's already doing its thing there. And this plant was all the way out to the end there. That's why the sides were so damaged on that plant. And it can take up some space. It can take up some space out to here and around. But just when it protrudes past this thing out into the grass, that's why the grass is dead there. This bush was doing that. That's when it has a problem. But you can see all the new... I love junipers. One of my favorite plants. You can see all the new... Like sharp growth coming out of there. I mean, see all that? That's all new growth. So those are going to be really nice. Um, so yeah, that's the plants. Uh, that's the plants as of June 27th. We'll make another update maybe on July 13th or 14th. And just see how these look before we're gone till August 2nd. So we'll just see how we won't be seeing these plants for a little while. So we'll just see how they do over the summer and hope they grow well. But this one's looking real nice. I'm really liking that. Look at that the ground there. Really nice. So we'll make this our thumbnail for today. Right. Here. Alright. See you guys in the next one.